Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. That, what? Was that? Pardon? Oh, no, no, you see, it's a new month. So I thought on April the 1st, I would provide you with a plethora of content down below. So, you're welcome to me giving you all 22 parts of my playthrough of The Last of Us Part 2 that the Critical Drinker made me play so I could do a stream with him. Bastard. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And you know what? No adverts. No adverts. Not monetized a single one of them. You can just sit there and go through all 22 parts. Approximately 26 hours. Enjoy as much as I am. And enjoyed. Uh, so we're taking uh, this article from the Daily Wire today, and uh, it's a Star Trekky thing. As Quill Whedon claims that William Shatner, Sir Bill Shatner, to us here in the UK, was rude to him. <laughs> was rude to him on the Star Trek set. Oh, I in hope so. Uh, I hope it was really rude. I hope he cried and cried tears of soy. That, look at that grin. Oh, jeez. Will Whedon has a memoir coming out in April that's already getting a lot of buzz. I've not heard a thing. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm a barometer for what's hot in Hollywood. <laughs> uh, but um, no, Will Whedon's memoirs couldn't give a flying fuck. And the only buzz that I can think of is I'd rather attach electrodes to my fucking testicles than read that book. Recounts the actor had an unfortunate encounter with Star Trek legend Sir Bill Shatner when he was just a teen. Oh, boo-hoo. According to Whedon, Shatner was rude to him, but later sent him a handwritten apology. Oh, my God. The, uh, the trials that this guy must have had to have gone through. Whedon was 16 and playing Wesley Crusher when he found out that uh, William Shatner was going to be filming nearby. It took about... Uh, he went to approach him dressed in his uh, acting ensign outfit, uniform. And Will Whedon quotes... It took about eight steps for my confidence to evaporate. Will, I think your confidence evaporates every time you go for a piss and a guy stood next to you, okay? I think that's as quick as it needs to go. So you're the kid on that show, Sir Bill, Shatner said. He seemed annoyed, Whedon continued. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing how he recalls it so well. He was just 16. How old's he now? Nearly 50. He, he, he was annoyed. He was annoyed. I can remember it so clearly. Mm. Uh, my throat and my mouth were dry and my palms were sweating. Oh, you, you've been to the male toilet again, haven't you? My heart pounded in my ears. It's here, dude, it's where the heart, the ears, the heart. I answered, uh, Yes, sir. My name's Will. Whedon claimed Shatner ignored his outstretched hand, then went on to make fun of his outfit. Does this, this story sound like utter bollocks to you? I mean, I know William Shatner's, you know, he's got a little rep now and again for being uh, scathing, but um, refusing to shake the hand of a 16... I don't know. I don't know about that. What is that? Your space suit, he said, and made a sound that was somewhere between a laugh and a cough. You recall this so well for something that was 34 years ago. Wow. Bullshit. <clears throat> he recalled feeling lightheaded. <laughs> Oh my god. Look, I know Will I know Will Whedon is a fucking soy boy. Yeah? He's a soy-based entity confirmed. Uh a complete far lefty eye log wanker. 
tosspot prick. And he's not doing himself any favors with this story. That's all I can say right now. I said, uh, what do you do over there? He asked. Whedon continued. There was a challenge in his voice. <laughs> Will, can you, can you lie some more, please? This story isn't bollocksy bullshit enough. When Whedon said he was an acting ensign who sometimes pilots the ship, Shatner allegedly replied, well, I'd never let a Kim kid come onto my bridge. Ah, uh, good answer. Good answer, particularly uh, Wesley Crusher, uh, one of the most despised characters in all of Star Trek. Uh, oh, jeez, man. I mean, you have to really work at being as unlikable as Will Whedon. I'm just saying. News of the incident spread and other actors made it a point to commiserate with Whedon, sharing their own stories of being mocked and dismissed by Captain Kirk. Wasn't Will Whedon, by the way, the one that left uh, to, to go and go into Hollywood for better roles because he was too good for TV? Remember that, Will? No? Ooh, nothing new. Whedon wrote about how Brent Spiner, who played Data, told him that Shatner wore a toupee. Ooh. Michael Dorn apparently offered to beat up the rude stuff. This is utter horse shit. Jonathan Frakes, who played Captain Captain William Riker. Daily Wire, what is this bullshit? Huh? Amanda? Commander William Riker. Jeez, man. Captain William. Come on. Proofread your shit. Then Whedon's... Oh, Riker said, by the way, Willi uh, Jonathan Frakes said, to hell with him. This is such bullshit. Then Whedon said he was called into Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry's office. The showrunner said, Will, Bill is an ass. Don't you worry about him, okay? I am so proud to have you on my show. Don't you ever forget that. I love how his story, how his story has a passage of somebody validating him. <laughs> I was such a young boy quivering hands sweating heart pounding in my ears i felt lightheaded and william oh william oh my god he was so nasty with his voice he wouldn't shake my hand he made fun of my outfit i, I couldn't cope i couldn't cope. but Gene Roddenberry, who created Star Trek, said I was amazing. Oh, my God. The Stand By Me star, the only decent thing I've ever seen him in, said he got an apology from Shatner the next day. He said he found an envelope sitting on his dressing room table addressed to Master Will Whedon from the office of William Shatner. The message read, Dear Will, you are a fine young actor, and I would be honored to have you on my bridge any day. Sincerely yours, William Shatner's secretary. I mean, Bill. Whedon recalled how Roddenberry called him on the phone soon after. Does he have video cameras recording when you've got the, uh, the uh, letter? Okay. I spoke with Bill yesterday, and he should be dropping off a note for you today, the showrunner said. I couldn't believe it. Just like I don't believe a fucking word of this story. Whedon wrote, Gene Roddenberry, the great bird of the galaxy and creator of Star Trek. He called William fucking Shatner, Captain James T. Kirk and director of Star Trek V and asked him to apologize to me. Will Whedon, 16-year-old acting ensign and drooling fanboy. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> he concluded of all the wonderful gifts Gene gave me across the years, that was the one uh, that is one of the most fondly remembered because I know that without Gene's intervention, that note would never be written. Uh where's the note? 
can you can you uh post some images of the note so we can all see the note you know i mean by the sounds of i mean if i were you i'd have pictures in my fucking coloring book as well uh will now then uh so that's a wonderful story that's uh will whedon getting his uh little thing out there now this person here uh, at william shatner he says sorry william shatner is a legend i don't believe it soy boy And this is in response to the New York Post article of Will Whedon remembers William Shatner being a real jerk on set. William Shatner decides to respond. <laughs> and he says, I have no recollection of this event. It's probably because it, I know you're 91, Bill. And God, I love you. But that's because it probably didn't happen. Others on set say it never happened. I actually have apologized to him a few times, even though I don't remember it. And he accepted my apology. Now that, uh, now that must also be forgotten. He must need the publicity for some sort of project. Will, Will, William, William. I know the project. It's his fucking failed memoirs called still just a twat an animate an annotated memoir of a fucking soy boy uh this the uh if the story happened and it might might have happened did it happen the way that will whedon recollects i sincerely doubt it uh the way that it's been hammed up and i know that these are lovies and darlings and this is a memoir. This is a tell-all, baby. But uh, it just comes across as desperate and pathetic, uh, which coincidentally enough sums Will Whedon up to a T. Uh, so William Shatner just absolutely destroying 16-year-old boys' dreams uh, in 4K from orbit, and I love it. Every bit of it. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and twitch no youtube for live streaming i don't do twitch i've done it for two years links are in the description box down below and i'll be back with some more stuff very soon you take care bye for now